how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Green side, yellow side because the middle is that colour. Blue side, red side, white side, orange side. White and yellow are opposite each other. We are going to solve the white cross. Look on the bottom near the yellow. Are there any white pieces? No. Can I move something down? If I turn this side, the white is at the bottom now. I have to turn the bottom, which is the yellow side around, till this blue is beside blue. Then I turn the blue side, so this white is at the top. I now have a green at the bottom. I have to move white with green. I have to move the bottom around until it's beside green. Now it is. Turn it to the top. I have this white piece here. If I turn this side down, now the orange with the white is at the bottom. Turn it around until it's beside orange. And then turn the white to the top. Before I turned my cube to put that at the bottom, I moved this back to the side, so I have to just turn that to the top. The final piece is this red. If I turn this piece to the side and then I turn this down, it'll be on the bottom. Now it's on the bottom got red beside it so I turn it to red. I move that white with green again so I'll move that back to the top and then I'll turn the red side until that white is up the top. That is the white cross. Now I'm going to solve the white corners so I turn the white side to the bottom. Any corner that has white on it we're going to solve. So this has white and it has red and blue. Well, I have to turn it and so it's in between red and blue at the front right. No. It's between red and blue. And then I have to do this manoeuvre until it's solved. I turn the right side away from me so back, I pull the top with my right hand, I turn the right side to me, forward or towards me, and then I turn I pull the top with my left. It's not correct, and I just keep doing that same. So back, right, forward, left. Back, right, forward, left. It's not correct back, right, forward, left. It's correct. Now I'll do another corner piece. White with red and green. It's got to be between red and green here. Red, green. Back, right, forward, left. Back, right, forward, left. Back, right, forward, left. Back, right, forward, left, back, right, forward, left. It's correct. Orange and green. It's got to be between orange and green. In the front, right, between orange and green. Now I do the steps. Back, right, forward, left. It's already correct. And the last one must be here. Back, right, forward, left, back, right, forward, left, back, right, forward, left, back, right, forward, left, back, right, forward, left. I've done the white side. The next step is these pieces. I see this one's already correct. That's good. This one, it needs to go between red and blue. So I put it above the same colour. There we go. It has it got to go here or here. It's got to go to the left. Because it's got to go to the left, I move that piece out of the way 
and I do that same maneuver, but this time starting on the left side. So back, left, forward, right. Now I have to turn the whole cube so this white piece is over here. And I now do it on this side. Back, right, forward, left. And it's correct. This, put it above the same colour, so green. It's got to go right. Because it's got to go right, I move it out of the way. Do it on the side that it's got to go to. So back, right, forward, left. Now turn the whole cube so this piece is over here. And do it on the other side. Back, left, forward, right. The final piece has got to go to the left. So I move it out of the way. Do it on the left side. Back, left, forward, right. Turn the whole cube so this is on the other side. Then do it on this side. Back, right, forward, left. So I've done the second row. The, la uh, the last layer, I have to get the yellow cross. Doesn't matter if it matches or not. I'm just looking to see what I can get. I have a horizontal row. I could have a dot and I could have the yellows like that in a backward C shape. If I have a back a C, it has to be in the back left. If I have a row, it has to be <coughs> across. Dot doesn't matter. So once I have that, I go, I turn the front clockwise. So there's a white strip there. And then I go back, right, forward, left. And then I turn this anti-clockwise. So now I have the yellow cross. I have to see if I can match up any of the colors. So blue and red, I'll use blue and red. Sometimes you've got two opposite each other, so you might have to do this maneuver twice. But if you have two that are beside each other, you put them in the back right, and then you do this. Back, right, forward, right. Back, left, left, forward. And then that should match up all the yellow cross. The next step is looking at the corners. I'm looking to see if the three colours that are meant to be in that spot are there, and they are. This is meant to be blue, orange, and yellow, and it has it. That's not correct, that's not correct, and that's not correct. If you have any correct, put them in the front right. If you don't have any correct, just put anything there, and this is what you do. Right, back, left, back. Right, forward, left forward. That's correct. That's correct. These two are actually facing the correct direction. Because they're now all in the right position, you turn the cube down and you have a piece you want to solve in the front right. And you do the same thing we've been doing all along. Back, right, forward, left. Not correct. Back, right, forward, left. It's correct. So you keep the first two rows still and you move the bottom until another piece you want to solve is there and you do it again. Back, right, forward, left, back, right, forward, left, back, right, forward, left, back, right, forward, left. Then I just match up the bottom and that's your Rubik's Cube solved.